from our home here in South Austin and I have some clips that I'm excited to show you today. As you can hear in the background, Guy is rehearsing mandolin as he has this whole year during the pandemic. And so we're going to show an origin story of Mr. Guy Forsyth when he first started playing here in Austin, Texas in the 90s. This is footage that we found online from the original Austin Music Network, which was being aired uh, nationally. And yeah, this is And we're back, and we're ready for our next band. That's Guy Forsyth. They have a CD coming out next spring, so you guys go out there and buy it. And also, what a heck of a band. Boy, they're kind of bluesy, rapsy, and downright good. That's right, and I saw Saw Blade on stage, so I'm getting out of the way. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Guy Forsyth, you're watching the 24-hour music marathon on the Austin Music Network. <laughs> Times of trouble, we decide what we need, but we take with us what we leave. And how much of your answers can be believed? And nothing gonna save you if you're deceived. Can you live without? What if for five days can you live without? Shopping when you get paid, can you live without having someone to blame? Can you live without? The loser of your game Could you live without This fine new car Could you live without Knowing exactly who you are That you ever doubt You'd have your picture on the wall you live without anybody there at all? Could you live without your dope? Whatever it might be, kind but or but wiser, it works the same for me. Can you live without them whispering your name? Could you live without casting in your fame? Can you live without her? Best make up your mind, can you live without her? Boy, you're running out of time, can you live without her? Is this the way it's playing out? Can you live without her? Or can you live without No one sees, can you live without? Do 
living as you please Could you live without Living by the degrees In times of trouble We decide what we need We take with us What we need And how much of your answers Can we believe Nothing gonna save you you're the Well, the terrible dog furlough turned a little out of town Barefoot in the bow with the covers pulled down The Reverend and the Lila stole the cherry black murk Cigarettes, serotonin, half a day's work You know he's leaking in the Lincoln, it'll never get through You're gonna have to choose if they offer to you He puts the bullets in backwards in the barrel of his gun Nobody knows he shoots you and he really just doing his job inside of me or oh, him But I was never any better than I should have been Never any better than I should have been Never any better than I should have been You know the reverend's got his reasons, he keeps them all head he got something neat to sleep just like his daddy did He keeps him down on the inside Till that story broke So fat bed and kerosene And I came out and smoke He's just doing his job inside of me Oh yeah But I was never any better than I Should have been Never any better than I Should have been Never really better than I should have been But oh, for the colonel in a lot of town Barefoot in the pile with the covers pulled down Reverend and a lot of stolen cherry black murk Cigarettes, serotonin, half a day's work You know he's leaking in the Lincoln It'll never get through You're gonna have to choose if they offer to you He puts the bullets in backwards in the barrel of his gun Nobody knows he shoots you and you run You know the rap has got his reasons He keeps them all head He got thumbs beneath his feet Just like his daddy did He keeps him down on the inside Tell that story broke So that they didn't care a scene And I came out and smoke Where well, the office smelled the smoke Came a hollering to the door With a piece of his mind And a two by four 
The Reverend was righteous. He wasn't there. Just burned out slats and a note tape to the chair. He's just doing his job beside the me. Oh, help. But I was never any better than I should have been. Never any better than I should have been. Well, I was never any better than I should have been. very much folks ow <laughs> Hi, that was pretty good what did you thought that um, the sub blade was cool was the sub blade was cool <laughs> yeah well i was going to be careful you just saw guy foresight and they've okay. got a, they've got a CD coming out this spring, so you'll be sure to go out and get it. That's right, right. If you like the sound, go out and get the CD when it comes out, and check out Guy Forsythe all around town, all around the state, wherever Guy Forsythe is playing. <laughs> I can't talk because I got gum in my mouth. I forgot to spit my gum out. So, no, <laughs> I don't want to. Do, don't, not, well, on maybe, TV, not on national TV. Not on national TV. Well, close. <laughs> We're watching right. the Austin Music Network. It's our 24-hour music marathon. Yeah, that was your dad in the 90s. What do you think? It was the 90s. <laughs> yeah, it was very 90s. <laughs> this is Jacqueline Graham, and you're listening to Uncomfortable Conversations. Well, welcome back. I had someone ask me a question. They asked me how I cope with my grief. They asked me how I have managed to keep moving, keep standing after the loss of my son. And I think that that's probably a pretty topical subject right now because a lot of people, more than 500,000 to be exact, have lost loved ones during this time. So I describe myself as a personal kintsukuroi or kintsugi project. And if you're not familiar with that, that's the Japanese art form of taking broken pottery. Pottery is very valuable, and when it breaks, obviously people don't want to lose a beautiful piece. And the Japanese have perfected the art of taking the, the pottery piece and making it whole again, but putting gold or silver in the, the cracks. So literally, it means to repair with gold. Now, all of us are, bar are born whole. All of us are born complete into this life. And then things that happen in this life break us. And then we put ourselves back together. And then we're broken again. And we put ourselves back together again, sometimes shoddily, sometimes well. The problem comes in when we start thinking that our value is less because of the repairs that we've had to do since we've been broken. And in Kintsugi, the piece that has been repaired with gold is more valuable. Now, as for myself, when my son passed away, I felt like I had been shattered into millions of, of pieces and they were floating in the air and somehow I had managed to pull them back into a kind of simulacrum of me and, and it was functioning but the slightest jostle sent all the pieces scattering and, and clacking against each other. Um, now, 
The only thing that makes grief better, honestly, is time. But it never goes away. What happens is the muscles that you have that carry your grief, the mental muscles, they get stronger. And so it doesn't, the weight of it doesn't bow you down as much. You keep getting stronger, you keep moving forward, and you gradually straighten. When it began, I was working so hard to hold myself together, I couldn't let myself relax, because if I did, I'd simply fall to pieces. And when I got in the shower was when I would completely fall apart because my muscles would relax in the hot water. Um, but that was good for me. I needed to do that. I, need, I needed to grieve. I needed to cry. There were a lot of things that needed to be done, but I needed to deal with my own emotions. So how did I keep going? I didn't have a choice. I have family, I have other children, I have my husband. Life continued on whether I wanted it to or not. And I'm getting back finally to the point where I'm glad that it did. Now, of course, I will always miss my son. I can't imagine this world without him. But since he's a part of me, and he looked like me, and I have all my memories of him, you know, I see bits of him every time I look in the mirror. I have memories that are wrapped around every corner of my house, and memories of his whole life that helped to keep me going. And I believe I'll see him again. So, it comes from expecting life to be imperfect, that we all have a beginning, we all have an end. And those are the only two things we get 100% 100, 100 right, is we're born and we die. The rest of it's a toss-up and multitudinous shades of gray. So try and just keep putting one foot in front of the other, work on those mental muscles, get the help that you need, recognize the loss, grieve the loss, and put yourself together with bands of gold and know that you are more valuable for having been broken. This has been Uncomfortable Conversations with Jacqueline Graham. Please feel free to contact me JacquelineGraham.voice at gmail.com and I'll talk about anything that might help or anything you're interested in. All right, you have a wonderful day. Um, up next, we have some new people that are going to be on the Austin music news channel that I'm going to start up in June. This is comedians interviewing musicians, but they're kind of doing their own little take on it. So take it away, Beck. Hello world. I am Becky Jo Neal. And I'm Kim Stacy, And we are the co-hosts of comedians interviewing musicians as part of Music First Hand. Uh, we do a weekly podcast every Tuesday at 7 p.m. And we get to interview a bunch of local artists from all over Austin. We have over 150 episodes online. They're all on YouTube. Uh, and you can also watch us live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook Live. I think that's it. Yeah, basically wherever you get your podcast, you can find us for free but if you want exclusive content that's a good old-fashioned patreon and we've got uh, one of those so be sure to check out our patreon a bonus content mm. from each artist and we used to bop around the city now that we've been in quarantine we've been nailing the online show we have yeah. dozens of great zoom shows that you've got to check out check them out now we just bop around in our room and bop around your house 
via your screens. Hey, yes. seeing a kind of mini version of our show, maybe a little sillier version of our show. There's going to be some sketch. There's going to be some tries, some cooking competitions. It's going to be dope. Fails. Some, a lot of fails. It'll be good. I'm excited about it. I'm pumped. Pumped. Sorry. I'm so aggressive. Don't Ooh, yeah. Where's the beef? Oh. And before we get to the actual episode of this week's show, enjoy a little one minute teaser of uh, what's to come. Why should you watch our show? Will you learn anything from the Any teaser? Reason. Probably not. So just check us out anyway. I want a two, I want two, three. Well, you got to shake it in a circular motion. Shake it in a circular motion. Bagel, you can eat pizza any. Why you should watch our show? Because mm-hmm. uh, we are serious professionals. Serious. Oh, hello. <laughs> serious, like witchy fires. Mm. Now, maybe it's Maybelline. Leave me with your children. We're good role models. See, Mom? Pizza chug. Pizza chug. Chug, 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 chug. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's on the loose. Whoop. This this face I see before I go to bed every night. Oh, she's so fancy. Double fist. And we're fully grown adults, mind you. Oh, friends censor each other. I see. Where have you been? Dude, it's bright. What the hell are you doing? Oh, my we miss God. our younger Thank brother. You. Thank you. Oh, hello, ladies. Love us back. <laughs> that was great. Uh, I'm really excited to have you guys on board um, for my fourth season here on Austin Music TV. Hey, Belle, what's up? Uh, hi, how are you? I'm good. Okay, how are you? I'm good. You're good. Um, you're here to intro something. Do you remember what it is? Yeah. yeah. So Bella was the MC for a fundraiser for her dad two weeks ago. Do you want to tell him a little bit about what that was? That was a event that we were doing to help raise money for my dad. He had stage four cancer, and we were trying to raise money for his medical bills. We are very successful, and we are very thankful for everybody who interacted with it and donated and performed in the show. Wow, Bella, maybe I should just let you do this whole like MC thing. You're like a professional now. But we got really good news from um, my executive director, Sheila Steele, and we get to show the entire benefit right here on Austin Music TV when we get back from our trip. Yeah. So we're going to play the Tracy Bonham video. Um, hopefully, we get to go and meet her when we are in uh, New York State. But this is Tracy singing a song to you, Bella Jane. This is for Bella Jane My name is Tracy, you don't know me But I just wanted to say hi I've been talking to your mom a little bit And I just want to say Bella Jane You are loved That's one thing I know about you You are very loved I'd like to sing this song for you. Just remember these words always. Laying flat on our backs, picking our favorite stars. Try shining back from this roof of ours. But after a while, you say it seems pretty far I think you forgot How bright you are Shine, shine Shimmering, you shine Shine, shine Shimmering Still hanging on All because of you 
because you held up the sun and you never let go the world needs you now more than you ever know shine shine shimmer and you shine 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 shimmer and you shine Bella shimmer and you shine Bella Jean shimmer and you shine the northern pines and our teenage skies are still in your eyes. Okay, here's an important part, Bella Jane. When we're eight years old and you can't see a thing, you mustn't forget how much light you bring. Shine, shine. Never forget, you shine. Your soul love, Bella Jane. Well, I didn't get to do a shout out to Jacqueline Graham earlier. That was one of the most touching segments I think that you've done so far. I hope that everyone that watches this does write in to Jacqueline Graham because she has got some wonderful insight into situations and how to look at other people through a different lens. Um, up next we have some clips that I think you're going to enjoy. Thanks for being here with us today. Me and Celie because you won't leave me alone because I work at home. Uh, Austin Music TV. Uh, this is our third season, and we love being here. So, here we go. All right, I'm looking up where the word says drums on the... I think it sounds good. One, two, three, four. One, two. There's a roots vibe to it, but I would yeah. rather have it be more me sonically than like a distance recording. Hey there, it's Guy Forsyth, which you might know if you're already on this Patreon page. But we are here today at Six String Ranch making new music, which will be available to you as soon as we can crank it out. And we're going to use the Fadley's collection of guitars and instruments here at Six Dream Ranch, uh, including some of these things. The Bridge. Hi, I'm Matt Smith, Pierce, and I'm here at Six Dream Ranch with Guy Forsyth and Jessica Forsyth, and we're about to record their song, it's something about snakes and scorpions in Texas. I figured that's pretty cool. <laughs> How did that feel? Oh, I, I mean, I could tell that there were things that I would punch uh -huh. in it, but I think that the form was there. The only thing is, it's just right at the beginning, I'm wondering if there's a, a bar or something. Right, right. And, and I like the idea of putting together a loop and just using that. Yeah, over the top of it. Mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Now check this out. This is, a, it sounds this is, this is without anything on it. <laughs> Uh, 
that's beefy enough. Yeah, certainly out of a number of different times, even if you only found just with your favorite. So this is going to be fine. Do you want to start? Do you want to do a vocal on it, and we get a vocal half? Yeah, on it I think that that, there? that would confirm you know like any structural things, and we could fix them too. But let's do the vocal. Yeah. All right. Let me get you set up for that. Oh God. Hi. I'm trying to also be a cameraman. Oh my goodness, I know this. It's is all happening. <laughs> like the Mazar Brothers or something. Or... Come on over here. Hello. Is that about the right? Is that a little? No, right? that's good. Okay, great. All right. So I'm just going to have you turn this. This over here. Yeah, let me have the drums with it. That's fine. There are snakes around my trailer. I found a scorpion in my bed. Snakes around my trailer. Found a scorpion in my bed. One, two, testing. Hey, hey, hey. If Texas had its way, I'd be gone without a trace. One hundred right behind me to take my place. Hot sun, working on my red clay. And it cracks just like a chain. There you go, just pulls it all together. Hell in August, Texas. So the cool thing about creating a loop like this mm -hmm. is we can just take that now and move it in. So what is this? This is an old school, but it's not one of the ones that you usually use. And it says it's a, it has a Sure model 515 on here. Okay. <laughs> in the whole thing in case we have to find a really cool loop with the you play national like you played the guitar especially in the first part of the song mm -hmm. or that one like boom to do yep, boom, yep, you yep. know just with that old mm -hmm. white national we'll sit you down and have you play that mm -hmm. and just have you play that loop the same loop that we play with the acoustic guitar but that with a national sound way hipper mm -hmm. than the acoustic guitar either electric or a national oh yeah we'll, we'll sure well, you can play the whole so, thing let's get you let's go get that white national it's a bear as you know mm -hmm. so it's but uh if anyone could do it you can do it Thank you. 
find your way out of the room. So there's that one, and that one is the coolest, coolest one, but there's other ones too. How's it, that one feel like it's going to be too hard to play? Uh, no, I think I can play this. Yeah. yeah. That sounds great. Mm -hmm. So pretty. <laughs> Up and I'm already late. Pulling out the front door, I wonder what I run for to meet my fate. If Texas had its way, I'd be gone without a trace. One hundred right behind me to take my place. Hot sun working on the red clay, and it cracks just like a chain. August, Texas, fools pray for rain. Are oh, you dumb sons of bitches? Hurricane. And if it wasn't trying to kill you, it wouldn't be Texas. If you ain't got the 
fight, you won't make it here. See that cowboy hat driving that Lexus? Venom in that wicked grin from ear to ear. incredibly difficult for musicians and creatives all over the world. Um, not just creatives, but everyone. It's because of the patrons that we have that we're able to start going into the studio and creating music, and it's just really breathing life back into um, a music scene that has been just at home and streaming to cell phones for a year. So thank you for being a patron if you are. If you're not, uh, you can check us out at www.patreon.com side slash Guy Forsyth, and you can join for as little as $5 a month. This isn't a call to action. I'm not telling you you need to do that. But, you know, if you feel bad about it, now you know where to go. www.patreon.com side slash Guy Forsyth. And this is Dan Johnson with some more interesting music info. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Navigating the Musical Minefield with me, your host, Dan Johnson. And today I want to talk about tuning issues, something that affects a lot of us playing instruments. Like the Mazar Brothers or something. Come on over here. Is that about the right Is that a little too loud? Yeah, because it's number 20. 
was used on orchestra instruments, violins, violas, uh, double basses, things of that nature. Now, if those instruments are electrified and have modern tuning pegs on them, then, then you can apply this to that as well. So, first off, how do I fix my tuning problems? Well, it's a really easy first step. Go buy new strings. Put new strings on your instrument. Um, this will help. Old strings don't stay in tune that good. Now, there's some players that will say, like Eric Clapton, I like old strings. They sound better. That might be true, but you're going to have to retune a guitar, even a good guitar, maybe every five, six songs, uh, things like that. Maybe more. Maybe you get more out of your old rusty strings. I don't know. I'm just telling you what I know. So new strings, I kind of prefer to put new strings on. I'm not the best at it either, so I'm not judging if you put old strings and use them for a while. But the other thing uh, that's going to help you are maintaining your tuning pegs, okay? Your, your key heads, whatever you call them. Um, they have little screws um, and little gear wheels, okay? So these little wheels, you're going to want to kind of oil them, use maybe some DW40 or some gear uh, guitar lubricant you buy at your local music store. Keep these oiled so that they're easy to turn. And then sometimes the screws on these will be loose. And um, sometimes these tuning uh, pegs are isolated. They're not all like three on a side. And they'll have a cover on them. And that cover you can just take off and then tighten the wheel. Uh, lubricate, good to go. Uh, sometimes these break off, uh, unfortunately, when the plastic on some of these older key heads goes, you're, you're toast. you got to kind of replace the whole thing. And most of them are three on a side or individuals or six on a side or individuals, meaning that they're, a lot of times they're connected by a piece of metal like this, or sometimes they're just, you know, solo flying alone, okay? Um, sometimes you have to just change your tuners out. Yeah, I had to do it on a guitar. had beautiful Gibson tuners, and I had to put a better uh, leap more... Oh, not as expensive, but a better mechanical uh, tuner on there. It was more modern to help my guitar stand tuned better. So, tuning keys, yeah. Maintain them, uh, fix them, put new ones on. That'll help you in your step to uh, uh, stay in tune better. Another issue, a big issue, and something I try to tell people all the time, a lot of people don't listen, is your tuner. Um, if you're in a rock band, um, or you're a folk singer, guitar, whatever, bass player. Um, a lot of people use the Boss TU2 white box tuner. I don't have one on me because I don't really use them that much. Um, these are okay. They're not bad. They're pretty good, um, depending on what kind of music you're doing. So for your basic punk rock, heavy metal rock band thing, that's fine. If you want to dive a little deeper into the actual tuning I suggest using something a step up, and I'm a big uh, fan of using Peterson tuners. Here's one on my phone, for example. It's a strobe tuner, um, and I believe you can go to www.petersontuners.com, and you can check out. They've got clip tuners and everything. They're just magnificent. And what they do is they do a thing called temper tuning, which I don't have enough time in the world to go into temper tuning, but basically tuning your instrument to itself. So on a Boss White TU2 tuner, say that five times fast, it's gonna be 440, okay? Sometimes that's called a scent or a temperament. Sometimes your instruments aren't always what that tuner is, if you can understand that. This kind of goes deeper into the wormhole of what your instrument should be tuned to. Now you could buy one of these and not like it. Be prepared that your ear might like a boss tuner or, or a chord tuner for that matter. Um, I did kind of the Pepsi challenge and, and decided I like Peterson tuners better. That's just me. They temper tune my instruments. And they're really great if you're a multi-instrumental player. They have a new tuner out that tunes mandolins, banjos, pedal steels, dobros, guitars, bass, everything. So I've encouraged a lot of players to try these. They also make, if you're an acoustic player, ukulele player, banjo, whatever, and it's acoustic music you're doing, they make a great clip-on tuner as well. So those are your basic three steps to helping you stay in tune. And like I said, um, don't get mad. Sometimes your instrument doesn't want to stay in tune as much as you want it to. And so that's another part of it 
it's kind of a fourth step of the tuning game is finding an instrument that you can play as many songs as you can without it going terribly out of tune. That's that's a big part of it. A lot of people will go buy a vintage instrument and they'll like it. Oh, it's cool. It looks pretty. It sounds good. But then it only stays in tune for three songs. And that kind of defeats the purpose of buying a, a really expensive instrument in my book. So unless you're into collecting wall art, try something out in your local music store, run it through some songs, whatever instrument it, it may be, and see how much bang for your buck you can get before you're spending a hundred to a thousand dollars on it. That will also help. So anyway, this is Dan Johnson. The show is Wednesday at 9 p.m. Channel 16, Austin Music TV. This has been another episode of Navigating the Musical Minefield with me, your host, Dan Johnson. And if you have any questions, you can email me at Guitar at yahoo.com and I'll answer questions for you. Y'all have a good day. Peace. Well, there you have it. Another episode of The Wednesday Show here on Austin Music TV. The next time that you see me, I'm going to be with my daughter, Bella Jane, a.k.a. Bunny, and we're going to be traveling around the United States on our way to uh, New Jersey and New York where we're going to be visiting family. We're going to be trying to do our best to stream live every Wednesday. I don't know what that looks like yet, but we'll figure it out. Please tune in. If you're able, please check out the Patreon, www.patreon.com side slash Guy Forsyth. Know that the money directly benefits musicians, us, and we really appreciate it. Thanks for being here. Baby.
babies everywhere It's your choice you can choose What to abide, what to refuse Now get out of here If I were king If I were queen If I were king If I were queen If I were king If I were queen If I were king If we were
is where we find ourselves Where the indifference ends Dreams and nightmares neatly shelved here Alone among friends If you were second, you couldn't get where well. Tell you what I do You were second, you couldn't get where well. Never ask if you're true You were second, you couldn't get where well. I would hold you forever On Eastern Tell You were second, you couldn't get <laughs> little is five dollars a month this isn't a call to action i'm not